Welcome back to another one of Miss Lee's graphing calculator videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to store numbers on your graphing calculator. You might find that when you're solving problems, you have to keep track of all these significant digits when you're going from one step to the next. Your graphing calculator saves that time for you by storing it in memory. Your graphing calculator is, very, is a very powerful tool and it can save many numbers at the same time. I'm going to show you how to use that. Also, some of the other benefits that you can use your graphing calculator to as well. How to store a number. So let's say I'm going to store negative 9.8 as a number. So I'm going to type in negative 9.8, okay? And I press negative 9.8, enter. I'm going to use, to use a store function, we are going to press the STOR button on our graphing calculator, which is located right over here. Okay, so I'm going to press STOR, store. On your screen, you will say answer arrow. Then I'm going to choose a letter that I'm going to store it as. On your graphing calculator, it contains letters from A all the way to Z, including theta as well. I'm going to choose Z, and to do that, notice the letters are color-coded green. To get the color-coded green, we're going to use another special function called alpha. Similar to your second function, alpha lets you use the green letters on your graphing calculator. So I'm going to press alpha Z and enter. Now my number is stored as negative 9.8 on my graphing calculator. If I want to use it in, a in an equation, let's say I want to do negative 9.8 times 2. To do that, I go to alpha Z. Notice on your screen it will say Z. Then I'm going to multiply that one by 2. I press enter, and there we have it. That's 2 times negative 9.8. You might be wondering, oh, what if my calculator permanently remembers this number? You can always rewrite every single letter over with a new number. So you don't want z to be negative 9.8 anymore. You want it to be negative 19.6. So if I want to store this new number in z, I can press again. This number is on here. I'm going to press store. So it says answer arrow alpha z and then press enter now my z function letter has been rewritten if i want to recall it again alpha z and let's say i'm going to let's let's say if it actually remembers the negative 19.6 i press the z i enter the z i press enter and there it is negative 19 .6. your not your letters can be overwritten as many times as you want you can Remember, you can store as many numbers as you want on your graphing calculator as the letters permit. I find that storing constants are also another advantage you can take of your graphing calculator. Later on in physics, you're going to be dealing with very long constants, and those of you who know of them, you might find that typing them every single time is very annoying. You can store them on your graphing calculator using such method that you've seen over here. Use it to your advantage. If you want to use some of your stored values when you are graphing your numbers as well, you can do that for sure. So uh, let's see, z here is negative 19.6. Let's see what happens if I put it into my graph. Let's say I want to graph this negative 19.6. I can also do that. I can also put that function into my graph, and my graph will do justice to that as well. And on my graphing calculator, there it is. So you can also use these stored values in your graphing function as well. Very useful tool that you can use your graphing calculator. Hope you found this video useful for you. Use this storage memory function to your advantage all you want. And happy physicsing. See you later.